Good morning, everybody. This is Diggs. It's another beautiful day out here in the Pacific Northwest. And today we're going to be talking about Jigen X or Jigen X or however you would like to say it. I'm sure many of you have the correct pronunciation uh, that you are going to put down in the comment section down below. Uh, but we're going to talk about the different versions. We're going to talk about some other axes in the game. Uh, let's go ahead and dig in. <laughs> Now, Jigen Axe is a axe that was originally released with Summer Kilfe, uh, and we have kind of been waiting for it for a long time. Uh, it is a very unique axe. Uh, it's a very powerful axe because the plus five, uh, you know, modifier on it is that it's going to give slash resistance penetration 20 for self. There's a lot of times where having slash resistance 20 penetration is going to be very helpful. Uh, so it is a weapon that you are going to want to get and to max out. Uh, you are going to be looking at the different versions uh, vital. You know, we're going to hard skip on that. We have two other versions. We have an assault version and an aim version. Uh, the assault comes in at 190 attack, uh, still has four accuracy and seven critical hit rate. The aim version is going to have 133 attack, uh, 18 accuracy and seven critical hit rate. For this specific build, I am going to recommend going the assault version. Uh, and there's a couple of reasons for that. And a lot of that has to do uh, with TMR runes that are coming out in the future and some of the other weapons and TMR weapons that are currently available. Uh, so you're basically going to be having different axes for different situations. And I'm going to say that the different axes that you're going to have are probably going to be TMR axes. The one other axe that you can equip, which will be a pretty standard axe, is going to be Golden Axe. And you're really going to use Golden Axe for when you want maximum damage in a PvE situation. That's going to be 212 attack slash attack plus 15. This is going to be when you are in PvE. This is when you're going to want to achieve max damage, unless, of course, your opponent has a lot of slash resistance, in which case you would go for the Jigen X. Uh, but these two axes are kind of your, you know, the slash resistance is going to be really designed for PvE kind of tanky enemies. The golden axe is going to be designed really for the max damage in uh, maybe like a raid situation uh, or something like that. Now, the other problem that we have with axes and why they are such a unique piece of gear compared to a lot of the other weapons uh, is that we do have uh, Moraga's TMR axe, which everybody should have access to. You only have to get Moraga level 99 uh, in order to do that. So you have to do the select quest, of course, to get him. Uh, but his own TMR uh, has attack 203, critical hit rate four, and it has the unique effect of giving initial AP up 25 for self. Now, a lot of people would probably look at this and they would say, well, there's no slash attack up on it. There is no, you know, uh, slash resistance penetration. Why would I ever use this axe? Uh, great question. Uh, first off, that initial AP up 25. There are many situations where that initial AP up 25 could be the difference between using an attack, using an attack in additional time. It could be the difference between, you know, maybe you don't have enough AP generation TMRs and you want to have AP generation on another unit. And on top of all of this, you also have to factor in that we do have TMR enhancements coming out in the near future, within the next couple of weeks, actually. Uh, so you are going to be able to augment this potentially with accuracy or even more attack or even, you know, increase acquired AP up. You're going to be able to augment it to make it a very viable weapon in a bunch of different situations, right? Uh, a lot of units in PvP, for example, uh, have to use a turn to buff up for their AP generation, right? So they have to waste a turn using Revitalize. They have to waste a turn using, you know, some other ability to buff uh, and give them AP. If you're using the Savage King's Great Axe, you don't need to do that. You could, for example, have the Savage King's Great Axe on, use an ability that maybe increases your attack, maybe increases, you know, spirit resistance or spirit or magic resistance or something uh, if you are using uh, Summer Kill Fae. And then you can engage the enemy, still have enough AP, but have that increased defensive utility or offensive utility. So uh, up until this point in the game, Savage King's Great Axe, um, I've actually used over Golden Axe plus five almost entirely, uh, just because in a lot of my five man compositions where I do end up using Summer Kill Fae or Moraga, I find that having that initial AP up uh, is really valuable uh, and is really helpful. Uh, but of course, you know, these are all situational and 
kind of like, you know, kind of like, well, I guess unlike um, swords, I feel like axes are very situational weapons and you're going to be adjusting which axe you're using based on what map you're on, right? Uh, what enemy you're fighting and kind of like how you're gonna go about it, right? It's not like elemental swords where no matter what, setting ice brand is going to be the best weapon, right? Uh, it's not like that. It's not that transparent. Uh, you know, staffs have a similar situation where staffs have like evocation bonus up on some of them. Some of them have, you know, magic attack and light attack. Some of them have magic attack resistance, right? Like, you know, they, it's one of those situations where you could use any type of staff or any type of axe and uh, using the right type of axe or particularly when TMR augmentation comes out, uh, using the right type of axe could be really valuable in uh, what you're doing and what you're setting up for your composition. Finally, we do also have the BSEC Parashu coming out as well. Uh, for those of you that don't know where this comes from, uh, Sorel is the latest MR unit on the JP side. Uh, she's a very cool unit. Uh, I, I, I just like her look and I like the look of her axe. Uh, but the BSEC Parashu is also going to be coming out. Uh, it gives increased AP 20 for self. Now keep in mind, I do believe this is gonna be um, now, I do believe this is going to be increased total AP, not increased initial AP. We're going to have to wait and see. But this one gives attack 163, accuracy 8. And of course, we also have uh, Durando's Axe, which is, you know, not particularly the best. So when we're, you know, kind of to do a full circle here, go back to Jigan X and to talk about it a little bit more, you're going to be using this in situations where you're going up against enemies with slash resistance. Um, a lot of the times those enemies with slash resistance are going to be enemies who are going to be tanks or really PVE powerful enemies. Um, I very much doubt you're going to be going up against like, a fully built slash resistance Elena, for example, right? Because you're going to be leaning really heavily in on evasion. Uh, so maybe you do go accuracy if you don't have any other accuracy great acts. But I, I think majority of people are going to want to go attack and are going to benefit from attack. And I think that's going to be the way to go. And I also think this is just another tool in your repertoire. I can't say this enough. Like this is just, you know, when we talk about horizontal progression of accounts, when we talk about you know, being able to deal with different situations at different times, you know, equipping this, like there could be a situation where you are doing a select quest with Moraga is a great example. Uh, on Earth Select Quest 10, uh, there is a situation where you can make that quest a lot easier if you kill the snakes in a single hit and Moraga can do that. But Moraga needs to one, have the AP to do that. And two, he needs to have enough offensive power. So maybe right um maybe you need to go with his tmr there instead or maybe there's a situation if you saw with light select quest 13 the other day where my mario just barely killed an enemy or i was relying on a crit to kill that stern maybe you know she can't obviously equip an axe but if she could equip an axe maybe it would have been a great opportunity to equip jig and axe instead uh and get that enhanced slash resistance penetration uh instead of that slash attack plus 15 or whatever it is um to potentially kill a monster in one hit uh to maybe make a pve piece of content significantly more easier so uh, moral of the story I would go for assault. If you don't have very good accuracy gear, uh, I would go for an aim version and just an assault golden X plus five. Uh, but you're going to really have to assess what gear you have, what gear is viable and where you're going to go with it. So uh, thank you so much for watching everybody. I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day. I hope you guys are gonna enjoy uh, watching me play Elden Ring. I've been having a lot of fun streaming it. Uh, and yeah, enjoy the rest of your day guys.